Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to explain Lambda functions in Python. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you wouldn't mind, please like, comment, and subscribe. One like equals one prayer for the YouTube algorithm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about Lambda functions. These are functions that are written in one line and use this Lambda keyword. They accept any number of arguments, but they only have one expression. Think of it as a shortcut. They're useful if you need a function for only one use or a short period of time, and then you're just planning on throwing away that function afterwards. Here's the syntax for a lambda function. You type lambda, you add the parameters, followed by a colon, and then your expression. Let's say we have this function named double. Double accepts one argument that we will name x. We're returning x times 2, effectively doubling it. So if I need to call this function, I would type double and then pass in a number as an argument. So the result, if I pass in 5, would be 10. Now let's write the same function, but instead write it as a lambda function. So let me turn these lines into comments. Now the first step is to type lambda, then our parameters. We only have one parameter, and that is x, colon, and then our expression. We would like to return x times 2. Now this lambda function is going to return a function object and we can assign that much like what we do with variables. Let's say double equals lambda x colon x times two. And in order to call this lambda function, we're going to type double, then a set of parentheses to call this function and then pass in our arguments. So let's say that x equals five and then we're going to double it. And the result is 10. So that's the syntax for a lambda function. You type lambda, your parameters, colon, and then your expression. This time, let's say that we have two parameters. We have two numbers that we want to multiply by each other. So let's say that this function will be called multiply. Multiply equals lambda x comma y, because we have two parameters, colon, followed by our expression. We would like to multiply x times y, and that is it. Now, in order to call multiply, we need to pass in two arguments. If I were to pass in just one, well, we'll have a type error. So let's pass in five and maybe six. And the result is 30. Now let's try three parameters. Let's say we would like to add three numbers together. Let's say add lambda x comma y comma z. So we have all of our parameters. We have our colon here, and then we need our expression x plus y plus z. And let's add five, six, and seven together. The result is 18. Now let's try something a little more complex. Let's pass in some strings this time. I'll create a function named full name. Full name equals lambda, first name, comma, last name. The expression is going to be first name plus perhaps a space plus last name. Now I need to pass in a first name and a last name. Full name. And you can use your own name for this example if you want. Let's say bro, comma, code. Yep, this will print your first name and your last name to the console window. Now let's take it a step further. Let's say we would like to check somebody's age once using a Lambda function. We would like to check to see if they're 18 or older because they're signing up for something perhaps. Let's say a credit card. So let's create a function object, age check equals lambda. We have one parameter, somebody's age, colon, and then our expression. Let's type true if age is greater than or equal to 18, else false. To call this age check function, we need to pass in an age. Let's say the user is 12 and they're trying to sign up for a credit card. Well, this will return false. Let's say they're 18 now, and this will return true. So that's a Lambda function. It's a function that is written in one line using this Lambda keyword. They accept any number of arguments, but they only have one expression. Think of it like a shortcut, and they're useful if you need to use a function only once, and then you're just planning on throwing it away afterwards. So if you would like a copy of all this code, I will post all of this to the comment section down below. But yeah, those are Lambda functions in Python. Hey you, yeah I'm talking to you. If you learned something new, then help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.